Hey, this is Mad Mad at Budgie Boosting. Today we're going to talk about mechanical fans like this versus electric fans and the advan advantages for either one and your pros and cons. And in this case, I mean, they tell you caution fan for a reason. Because look at this mean steel fan right here. You get your hands in the wrong area. This thing's spinning fast and you're trying to troubleshoot something. This thing will cut you up real good, especially spinning real fast. So, yeah, these mechanical fans can be mean. Yeah, they do a good job, but look how much space they take. That's one of the disadvantages of a mechanical fan. They're usually made of steel, in some cases plastic, but they take up a whole heck of a lot of space that you could use. Now, we'll go over to my 300ZX and you'll see the difference. The 300ZX used to have a mechanical fan from the factory with a huge radiator shroud, so there was like no hand room. Or now, I converted to an electric fan. And look at all the space that's in this 300ZX compartment now. You got the radiator and electric fan. Before, there was a shroud covering this whole area. A, let, a, mechanical, a mechanical fan right here and a whole shroud so you couldn't even see this whole area right here because it was covered by fan and shroud and fan and shroud no room for nothing but ever since I converted to electric fan look how clean everything is I had room for my intercooler right here had room for my intake right here because before there was only this much room and there's where the factory air cleaner was and Look at how clean it is. I mean, there's just so much room now that I put an electric fan on here. I added an extra intake right here to get more intake air in here to push cool air into the engine compartment as well as the air cleaner. And made a huge difference. And electric fans are not really expensive. You can buy these all day long at AutoZone and Cragen. And the best way to do one of these electric fans is with a relay kit. They also sell relay kits for about 20-30 bucks and they come with everything you need to power your fan including a thermostatic relay that plugs into your radiator. You kind of put it in a radiator fin it senses temperature. So the electric fan only comes on when you need it to. So here's your relay kit. Relay and everything. Fuse, so when the fuse goes it's pretty simple, straightforward. Hook up your power, hook up your negative, hook up your uh, ignition, and there you go. Real simple setup. And overall, it probably cost about $50. That's not a bad setup. $50, $60 bucks tops your setup with your own electric fan kit. The relay kit and the fan kit. And then you just fabricate a way to put it in your radiator. They usually come with installation tabs that you put through and the radiator fins and whatnot. I chose to wire mine in because that's what I do. I like to do a lot of safety wiring and I thought that'd be a little bit better for my setup. But, you know, everybody does it different. <laughs> but these things come with a little installation kit. And one thing you want to keep in mind when you're installing an electric fan is you want to know how many CFMs at least ballpark how many CFMs you need for your radiator how much cooling air needs to be drawn through the radiator and they show you a bunch of examples on this on the back of the box right here like different fans put out different CFMs of free flowing air so you think of it like this a bigger engine or a turbo engine needs a lot more draw than like say a small NA four cylinder so you pick a larger fan for a larger engine or larger radiator. This one does the job for the 300. And I'll walk you over to the Buick Grand National and I'll let you show, I'll let you see that it's original electric fan that it had on it. It came from the factory because they put an intercooler here as well from the factory and I relocated it to the front. So we'll take a walk over to the Buick, take a look at its original electric fan. All right. Here's my 87 Buick Regal Grand National Series car. And from the factory, it came with this electric fan right here. 
And the reason I'm sure the Buick came with this fan is because from the factory, it had an intercooler located right here. So thanks for watching. Mad Matt Budget Boosting. If you like us, like us on Facebook. And like us on YouTube and all that good stuff. And remember, knowledge is power. It's horsepower. Now I've seen some videos out there that kind of concerned me a bit because they were preaching to people and saying that a factory air box is better off than an aftermarket intake, which I respectfully disagree. Now I took this stock intake off of a 2002 Dodge Caravan. 